tucked away in this seemingly different world where the wind whispers secrets through the ancient canyons and the sun paints the skies with hues of amber lies the city of Casper. Beyond its charming facade and bustling streets, Casper holds a darker and somewhat spooky aspect that captures the imagination of its residents and visitors alike. A realm of a ghost story and legend that intertwine with the region's history and mystique. These tales passed down through the generations offer a glimpse into the eerie, mysterious side of Casper, Wyoming. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. And as spooky season is approaching, I thought maybe we should talk a little bit about all the spooky things that we have here in Casper. Although that does make me a little nervous. Wyoming is a place of majestic landscapes and a rich, rich history. And that history is etched and carved with tales of daring pioneers, rugged frontiersmen, and the relentless pursuit of dreams against all odds. These very stories intertwined with the city's past have paved the way for a deep collection of ghostly legends that still linger. Housed amongst the crevices of old buildings in our historic downtown, as well as wandering through our wide open plains, one such tale revolves around Fort Casper, a relic of the past that witnessed the strife of the Indian Wars. This particular museum that was once an actual fort tends to get curiosities flowing. It is said that the spears of the soldiers and the Native Americans who lost their lives during the conflict of the war still wander the grounds, manifesting as ethereal figures in the mist. Eek! Visitors have reported hearing faint whispers of conversations and feeling the weight of history hanging heavy in the air. It actually gives me chills. Native Americans, mountain men, traders, immigrants, and the U.S. Army all visited or lived in the Casper area during the mid-1800s. The North Platte River Valley was the pathway for the Oregon, California Mormon Pioneer Pony Express Trail Corridor and the Transcontinental Telegraph Line. Wyoming was home to the Shoshone, Crow, Lakota, Cheyenne, Arapaho, and Utes when wagon after wagon of westbound immigrants followed the North Platte River to this area, crossed the river, and continued along the Sweetwater River to South Pass. Fort Caspar was first active as Platte Bridge Station from 1858 to 1867. During that time, there were many battles that resulted in many deaths that happened near the location where the fort sits today. The energy of things that happened in the 1800s is still strong at the fort, with historical artifacts, documents, and said spirits around the grounds. You never know what will happen. In fact, many ghost hunting expeditions and tours have happened at the fort over the years count me out. <laughs> I have heard that even videos that have recorded ghostly activity, you'll have to let me know about those. I am not going to watch them. <laughs> I think they might even host ghost tours during October at the fort. Casper's ghost stories aren't limited to old fort confines, however. The historic downtown district with its vintage architecture and echoes of bygone eras have given rise to a plethora of eerie encounters. The Rialto Theater, for instance, boasts a ghostly soprano whose melodious voice is said to reverberate through the walls when the stage is empty. Some attribute this to the phenomenon of a long lost performer who met a tragic death before a performance. Further tales unfold with the confines of the historical Bishop Home, a majestic mansion that stands as a testament to Casper's aristocratic past. The lingering presence of former residents, their footsteps echoing through empty corridors serves as a testament to the enduring connection between the living and the departed. Casper's ghost stories extend beyond the city limits and into the vast expanse of Wyoming's natural wonders. This haunting beauty of Independence Rock, a historical landmark along the Oregon Trail, conceals stories of restless pioneers who perished on their journey westward. Their apparitions reportedly materialize on moonlit nights, internally frozen in their pursuit of a better life. Devil's Tower, a geological marvel that rises dramatically from the landscape, also harbors its own tales of the supernatural. Some say that Native American spirits inhabit the tower, guardians of the land who reveal themselves to those with open hearts and minds. As the morning sun rises and shines upon the peaks of Casper Mountain, you might not think of spooky things. But maybe as the stars shine bright in the October sky, you might guess that spooky season is upon us here in central Wyoming. If haunted old forts or vast landscapes aren't your thing, how about a slow and scary drive up Casper Mountain to Crimson Dawn? 
Once you arrive atop the mountain and pull into the winding road towards Crimson Dawn, you will be beckoned by vast mountain landscapes and the enchanted world of Neil Forsling's creative and inspirational legacy. Long ago, all the way back in the late 1920s, there was a woman named Neil Forsling. Her and her two daughters, Mary and Jean, used to live right on the grounds of Crimson Dawn in a log cabin. The three of them alone, but together. Their old home now stands as the Crimson Dawn Museum. The log cabin and the surrounding land play host to the momentous of their life on Casper Mountain so long ago. I mean, that's over a hundred years ago. Mrs. Forsling might not have been exactly what you think when it comes to a mountain mama. She was a painter, a writer and a storyteller whose art was rooted deep in mythology. She set out to find inspiration amongst her surroundings, which was yes, our beloved Wyoming landscapes. She lived a life working hard to bring to life her art with her own dreams and visions and shared them with her daughters. One of the most iconic stories told was about seven Crimson Dawn witches and other spiritual characters who used to come out and celebrate the summer solstice with her and her daughters. Although the museum is closed during the winter months, the park makes for the perfect spooky getaway just a short distance from town. Walking by the old cabin and then strolling down the winding mountain roads that go right past old graveyards and a weird and wacky site that each have their own story to tell. And of course, you better beware of the witches. Crimson Dawn is sure to give you goosebumps and make the hair rise on the back of your neck. In the modern era, as urban legend and contemporary ghost stories intertwine, Casper's other world residents continue to capture the imagination of believers and skeptics alike. Haunted houses, unexplained phenomena, and eerie happenings have become part of the fabric of the city's identity, coexisting with its bustling life of the living. Our city stands as a testament to the human fascination with the unknown and the unexplainable. Its ghost stories, far from fading away, have woven themselves into the tapestry of its history inviting travelers and locals alike to explore the city's dual nature, one foot planted firmly in reality and the other delicately tiptoeing into the realm of the supernatural. So with its rich history and enchanting landscapes, it seems that Casper just might be a place where the lines between living and the departed seem to blur, or do they? Our ghost stories, far from being mere tales to fright, are a testament to the enduring power of the human imagination and echoes of the history and the undeniable connection between past and present. Whether one is a believer or a skeptic, the ghost stories of Casper serve as a reminder that the mysterious and other world continue to shape our perceptions of the world, even in the most unexpected quarters of existence. In 1928, the Rialto building was constructed in the middle of historic downtown Casper. It began as a cigar and soda shop, which it's remained until the 1940s. The building is situated right on a busy corner downtown and is also home to one of Casper's oldest movie theaters. The building has always been known to, to the locals as being haunted. Rumors were further proven in 2017 when the Rialto Soda Fountain undertook new ownership. It seemed that the decades of stories and rumors stood true. The new owner, his wife and the staff noticed strange activity in the old shop right away. From unexplained moving objects, random cold drafts of air, and they also had many clients that would ask about the old man smoking behind the bar. Of course, there was never an old man smoking. Well, not a living man at least. You know that I'm a sucker for all things Wyoming, and I guess that includes all the spooky things as well. Of course, these are not all the hauntings and scary things that we have to offer here in Casper, for sure. This city has its own share of folklore and tales, stories of ghosts, that have haunted its history for generations. I get it. Do you like scary stories and tales of hauntings? Is that your thing? Have you heard any secret hauntings that you know about where you live or even right here in Casper? Comment below and tell me about them. Of course, like and share this video so that all your friends can tell us their scary stories too. If you're looking for your own home in Casper, we would love to help you. My team and I have time for you and we absolutely love talking with all of you and hearing from you below in the comments. Remember, we want you to love where you live. See you soon.